for the past week it has been raining here in Florida and it's been really really miserable out so what I want to do is take the time that I've been waiting for uh, to really explain how this range booster works how it's installed and all that and if it's compatible with your remote before you guys ask me is this range booster um, compatible with my remote uh, what I'm gonna have to do I'm opening up this remote in this video and I'm going to show you the uh, the antenna wire as what you see here of where it goes on the board now the port that the antenna wire goes onto that is what you need to look for now I did not want to do an unboxing video on this to uh, to just see everything because what's the point of a complete unboxing video if I don't actually have the product knowledge following this video I'm gonna be doing a range test so we are going to see what that is going to bring. We're going to see exactly how much further from the previous uh, uh, just standard receiver remote setup would be without the booster. So if that seems interesting, we're going to head right into this review. Let's get it. I'm going to try to make this as painless as possible. Right now, the voltage of this whole mechanism, as I read in the instructions right here, is up to 16 volts. So we don't even want to use a 4 cell, we're going to use a 3 cell. It is from Sijuashui, that I cannot say. Pretty much that's who it's from. If you go on eBay here, and I will have links in the description to get them, uh, as you can see I'm on eBay, and this is pretty much the booster. And it says it's for a router, but it's pretty much for the same concept. 4 watt wireless Wi-Fi signal booster. That's pretty much everything that we see here. As you see, I just took all of it off there. And the adapter that you need, if you wondered, oh, well, what's this little thing? This is the adapter that goes to the board because obviously it's going to something RC related. So here we go. This is what we need. This is going to be a little blown up version. This goes to one end. Of these right here as you can see that's what that goes to and then you can see uh, that little cup it's a ball cup that's what goes on the board that replaces the stock remotes antenna and it is a UFL to SMA male right angle right angle just shows that it's going directly up like that it's just an adapter and I'm gonna show you exactly exactly what it is so I'm gonna have a link for this also in the description so I'm going to try to make this as painless as possible uh, because me, I was really second guessing myself and really getting into a, a booster and really wanting to make it work. So all you're going to need is a Phillips head. And we're going to want to unscrew one, two, three, four, five, and then inside six, seven. But before you do it, you want to take out the power. So I'm going to do that real quick. Here's our little life battery. From uh, Turnigy. Can't go wrong with it. So now that we have pretty much everything off and we still have our adapter in there, you want to be careful. You want to open it on this side because all the boards, all the electronics are built into the right side of the remote. Gently take it off. Now you can see everything. And you can see nothing on this side. <laughs> nothing at all. So we could just put this off to the side. Now, before you get overwhelmed, there's only one thing you need to look at for this whole project. One thing. So as you can see, the adapter ends right there. Now I have a little bit of shoe glue holding it in. I'm going to try to actually get a light. All you're going to want to do is take a really, really small flathead. Like so. Just pop it up. Very, very gently. You could actually do it with your fingers. Do not force anything on any of this, any remote. This is pretty much the antenna. And I just lifted it up a little bit because the glue is just holding it on. Um, as well as I wrapped that end of electrical tape right there. Um, so pretty much I drilled a hole right through here. You can see, I drilled a hole as the remote was closed. So I pretty much didn't have this in first. I drilled the hole, wrapped that around. It's not actually squeezing this wire whatsoever. 
actually the wire is holding it in place so it's a kind of a double um, it's a double uh, safety holding thing when it goes onto the board now of course you want to be very gentle right there and it's in so you want to make sure it's flat cupped completely 90 degrees to the board and then I would recommend putting the shoe glue on it so as you could see it was actually kind of hard to get off intentionally trying so I would recommend doing that uh, just be respectful with the glue you don't have to get on everything everywhere that's all that you need to look at if that has the same port as mine then yes this will be compatible it's difficult to do this in general to make sure everything is uh nice make sure to go slow too cannot rush this ah, yes <laughs> i think that was my first time ever uh putting this thing together with no hiccups uh now you want to make sure you're not pinching it but as you can see the other side of the hole pretty much it just holds this shrink wrap and it is not going anywhere We have our little uh, uh, amplifier device thing. Now keep in mind, this cord does not come with. Well, technically it does, but it's not supposed to really be glued on here. Um, as you can see, I put an XT60 connector that you saw outside. This is pretty much the power source to it. So where this comes from, this goes in here. Now keep in mind, this is meant for a router, this whole range booster setup. So you're supposed to plug it into a wall. AC power right there. This was really one thing that I was completely overlooking uh, to the AC power cord What you want to do is cut it. That's <laughs> Really what you want to do cut it and I pretty much took down some of the black insulation because it covers it all the way up as you can see I'm Not sure if you can see in there. There is Red and white the white is going to be your ground and the reds obviously going to be your power So that's what I have it set to power and ground and you just want to put a connector, it doesn't have to be this one, just any one that you have on a, another battery or so. Little nipples that protect the ports. The other side of this uh, adapter wire, you're going to want to go to the router or the other side of the antenna. Um, as you can see right there, this goes in right there, screws in like that. You don't need to use a wrench or anything, finger tighten it. Now, um, as you see, you have some of the sticky stuff and just... Positioning greatly depends on yourself. I liked it up on here. So now you're just gonna to wanna to naturally fold it over to where the wire isn't stressing as much and just go whichever way that the wire wants to go. Now you see what I mean when I have the um, electrical tape wrapped around it because if anything snags on this, I don't want it ripping off from the board and actually have real damage. This is the other end of the AC power cord that gives the booster or the amplifier the power and I have it glued right here just so it just wouldn't dangle everywhere I'd rather have this dangle because I want it to be relaxed the power cord I'd rather have you know kind of neat up against the booster you can see that and that's pretty much it now you just need to find a place to put your battery and again this velcro tape sticky stuff I don't know is amazing. Now before you turn anything else on, you want to make sure you have your antennae installed. Just like that. And when I put it away, it just goes like that. Or you could take the antenna off, which is even more convenient. If we recall power, now when we turn the remote on, oh, see it blink. Now you see the booster is working because now we have power and now we have a signal or radio signal. And that's it. Really, 90% of this video was just taking the remote apart and just uh, <laughs> was just putting that little adapter on. That's really all it is. All right, so we're pretty much done here, guys. Easy as it is. It's a lot more simple than you think. 90% of this video was really just opening up the remote just to put the adapter wire on. Now, if you're wondering what that last little wire is for, that's actually to go to your router. So if it's raining out and you want to play Call of Duty on the Xbox, PlayStation, whatever, you want to have a stronger signal, hell, why not? You put the booster on that. 
Uh, if you guys liked, make sure to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed and I hope you found this helpful. Take it easy.